Welcome cuties. Let's create. Everybody, I am so sorry that I have been incognito for um, a good while. Um, some things, well at first it was that I wasn't liking how my videos were turning out and then um, some things have happened uh, personally so um, I may not update frequently or as consistently as I would like, but I'm gonna try my best and get back on schedule. But today, since it's Halloween and I definitely wanted to um, go with the tradition of having a holiday inspired outfit, um, I wanted to hurry and put one up so that way I could follow tradition. So I was thinking of some things that um, we're kind of going with Halloween, you know, pumpkins and um, ghosts or, you know, just thinking of different things. And I was also trying to map out um, kind of a pose. I didn't want to just do a standing pose. So I actually have her sitting on a broomstick because at first I was like, this one's kind of easy to have a holiday inspired outfit because I could literally just draw a witch and it would look like Halloween. <laughs> so that's, that was actually my original plan was to do um, just a regular witch. And then um, as I started I was kind of sketching in my sketchbook and a couple ideas came to me and I was like you know what I'm gonna use that for this drawing and so what I did is I ha I have um, I thought of maybe like pumpkins for like big poofy sleeves so her sleeves are gonna be pumpkins or jack-o-lanterns and then I'm going to have um, her skirt kind of be the shape of a spider web. So that's kind of what I went with and I kind of liked that idea. And then of course, the, just the traditional witch hat. Um, and then I gave her some like late, not leggings, like tights that, um, have little bats and polka dots on them. So I actually, I, I was taking pictures of all my past drawings that I have done. And this is itty bitty little kitty. She was <laughs> just watching me. She always tends to pop in. <laughs> so anyway, I want to show you something is when you draw a head, you have to think of it as, um, and, and I learned this recently, I watched a really good uh, stream and I'll even link it down below, but our heads are a 3D shape. So you kind of have to think of it as these lines that are rounded. So the eye line and the middle of the face, they're gonna be rounded. And where that circle was is where I put the ear. And the top of the ear kind of goes where the eyebrows were. And then our bottom of the ear kind of goes where the mouth is. I tried to kind of follow it. Her ear's a little too small, but, um, but yeah. And then her hairline is going to kind of follow the tip of the ear, kind of following up rounding her head so that's just a little tidbit I want to kind of give some um, just tips and tricks of um, drawing so um, and then when you draw a hat you kind of want to have an idea of where your head is so that way you can put the hat on top of the head and if I was to draw not a hat and just do hair I just showed um, that the hair is sits on top of your head it's not going to be flush with your head so it's going to be a little bit above but also follow the skull so I think she's so cute and my camera I apparently I didn't even notice <laughs> that it was facing the wrong way um, so I apologize for that. Should just be just this one, but I 
back to what I was saying before is I got distracted by my drawing <laughs> is I am impressed with the progress that I have made just over this year you know the beginning of the year I was like you know what? I'm pretty decent at drawing people but I am so impressed with how she turned out I think she looks so good I think even my coloring skills have gotten better and I could work on shoes <laughs> that's one thing that I could work on but I am just oh I love how she turned out so what I did is I, I didn't want just a plain white background so what I did is I got a light purple and kind of made these like whooshy lines to be like ooh. <laughs> I don't know and then what I did is I didn't want them super prominent so I got a colorless blender and um, like I have said before alcohol inks um, especially with markers they lift other colors so the colorless blender you can lift that color and make it uh, kind of dull I guess or not as bright and vibrant so I just kind of went over all these lines to make them so they're not in your face and just these harsh lines I kind of wanted them more of like a I guess misty kind of thing so I went through with my colorless blender colored over the top and tried to make them as I guess transparent as uh, I wanted them to be and I think it turned out cute and then I was like I I didn't necessarily want to draw leaves so what I did is I just end up drawing just little polka dots everywhere <laughs> I did purple I did orange I even put some black in there and I think it turns out so cute I, I really like it and as I was looking at it, I was like, hmm, I feel like it needs a little more. I'm sorry if you can hear noise. That is uh, Jasmine. <laughs> she is playing around in my desk so and playing with chords. So I apologize. But, um, but yeah, I think she turned out so cute. And I, I'm really proud of... How far I've come I think um, I have a couple of old sketchbooks I I definitely am NOT like some other uh, other artists on YouTube that they have you know paintings or drawings from when they were like two or five I definitely don't have any of that but I do have um, I have a sketchbook that I started back in uh, seventh and eighth grade because I took an art class, mostly because that was the only class available. Um, I went to a charter school and you had to have eight classes and you took all eight classes every day. And they didn't have very many electives. It was like choir and art and dance. And pretty much uh, everyone took those classes. So, um, yeah, so everyone was in choir and everyone was in art, pretty much. So, but that's fine. So anyway, I was looking at this and I'm like, oh, I really like it. It's cute. It's done. And then I was like, I don't really like that it's white. It's, you know, Halloween is... Especially because, you know, everyone trick-or-treats and I just think of nighttime. And so, oh, apparently I didn't think I was done because I'm adding orange dots. <laughs> but, um, I don't have really any pastels. And I was like, oh, what I can do is I can kind of make the background dark, but not use markers. Because I didn't... I, I didn't want to use, I, didn't, I just didn't want to do that. But I do have one pencil that I will show here in a little bit that I believe I actually got from my dad. My dad is a really good artist and he's, he's phenomenal. And uh, he gave me this one pencil and it's a charcoal pencil. And, but it's not like, it's, it's different. <laughs> 
this. Um, so anyway, uh, so here's the pencil. And I was like, you know what, I'll try it and see. And so I kind of rubbed just in a corner and just kind of used the edge of the pencil. And at first I was like, let me just use my finger to see if I can smudge it out. And it definitely doesn't smudge all the way. You can definitely still see some of the um, pencil lines, I guess is what we'll call it. So what I did is I decided I have some brushes. This is a concealer brush that um, from e.l.f., uh, the makeup brand. And what I do is I actually use these brushes sometimes when I'm drawing in just pencil and I'm shading. Instead of using my finger and get my finger dirty, I will use just a cheap makeup brush. And so I tried to do that here and it did fairly well. Um, but I was like, oh, this isn't working so well. So I have an eyeliner brush as well that I tried to use, but I, I ended up, I ended up using my paint rag, <laughs> my dirty paint rag. Um, cause I was thinking of chalk pastels and I've seen a lot of people that they'll get like tissue paper and they'll like bunch it up. So it's nice and hard and they'll use that to kind of blend out. So I was like, I don't have tissue paper, but I have my dirty rag. I'll just kind of use that. So I go through the whole thing and I used this charcoal pencil and I went over the whole thing and tried to, you know, get out those pencil lines as much as I could. And then I was like, oh, I have some ordinary sidewalk chalk. And I decided to get it out. I have. I don't have very many colors but I have a gray so I used the gray one and I think it actually turned out really well I'm gonna hurry and sneak a peek because I have it right by me um, and I just I just kind of use it on one side because I wanted to make one side a little darker than the other but I, I actually I think it turned out well. I actually kind of like the texture that the pencil and the chalk kind of gave it. It almost gives it like this smoky look. I think, so yeah, I I really like this drawing. I, I feel like I have learned a lot as well um, with coloring and I am a huge fan. I just have to shout this out <laughs> the skin tone that I actually have really struggled because my Artify um, alcohol marker the skin tone is kind of running dry and they have it where you would have to buy a set and I think the Ohuhu marker is actually a little too um, orange so I have found <laughs> the perfect skin tone in my opinion for someone who is light colored skin it is from Prismacolor Premier and you can actually just buy this singly at Hobby Lobby and it is the color cinnamon toast and that is what I used and I think it turned out so well she's so cute I just uh, I want this outfit. <laughs> so happy Halloween, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!